Hey guys, it's Sean here with the Sean Valley Football Channel. <clears throat> Excuse me. And today I have for you the PL preview for week 12. Let's get on a roll here. Let's get on a roll here. We're having a blast making videos, talking about football. United's going to lose again. What else could we... What else do you need in the world? I love it. It's amazing. Who doesn't love to watch Manchester United suffer and lose week after week? It's just great. It's I know we're making the rest of the world who's not a Manchester fan really happy right now. And even a fraction of the United fans who want Ole Gunnar and Solskjaer to leave, which I am part of them, but... I don't want to lose for him to go. He just needs to go. But anyway, enough of the talk about Manchester. We'll get to that. Let's talk about the more important games. Leicester City, Chelsea. I mean, it's going to be a boring game, isn't it? 5.30 a.m. We're going to have to wake up early to watch them play. They're going to disappoint us again. 12th place Leicester visit first place Chelsea in a... Mid-table <laughs> for Leicester, at least. Um, Leicester's on some very patchy form this season, obviously. Very poor start to the season to them. Four wins, three draws, four losses. I do not know what has happened. I don't know what's going on. Is it the Europa League? Why isn't West... Excuse me. Why isn't West Ham suffering from that? Um, the game is at the King Power, which kind of makes me... These hiccups are not going away. <sighs> gonna give it to Chelsea. 2 up. We're just gonna keep rolling. Newcastle, Brentford, and hmm. Newcastle's been a little bit better as of late, but uh and Brentford just got a horrible result. Two <laughs> horrible results. Um four losses in a row for Brentford. Pretty much taking them down to the bottom half of the table. <coughs> the game is at St. James's Park, which kind of gives me faith in Newcastle, but Brentford are so good. They're just getting unlucky again and again. The luck has to change. Newcastle aren't a great team. However, it's Eddie Howe. Eddie Howe's Newcastle. 2-0 two no, two no Brentford. I'm, I'm sticking with my guns. Burnley Palace. Is there even a question? Does anybody even think that the man, the genius, that is Patrick Vieira, is going to lose to Burnley and Sean Dyke? It's going to be a hilarious video. <laughs> oh, we'll look back at this in years to come. And it'll be, this, remember that guy who kept... It's great, it's great, it's great. Um, <laughs> um, Palace are clearly one of the form teams in the league at the moment. Um, obviously, with two wins and three draws in their last five games. And I just think Palace are a phenomenal team. And I think they're going to stay phenomenal. I think they're going to do a lot of amazing, amazing things again and again and again. And they will beat Burnley at Turf Moor 2 0. Heard it here. Villa Brighton. Hard game for Gerard in his first week. A um, lot of new managers, lot four new managers in the league already this season. Let's see how we see how we do. Um, let's see how we do. Five soon, to be fair, with Norwich. But Villa. Hmm, Brighton. Brighton's also been a little disappointing in the last few weeks. Four draws and one loss. Villa's just an absolute shit, though. It's just hilarious how bad they're doing. Five losses in a row. They can only beat United. Everybody can beat you. <laughs> um, I think Gerard is going to stick to more of a defense formation. They're going to try to nick a point, but I think Brighton's got this. 2-1 Brighton. Watford, United. Are we going to spend a minute discuss 
sing how United's gonna lose again, let me teach you. This is what's gonna happen. Don't even worry about it. This is what's gonna happen. We're gonna try to play out the back. Genius. We wanna pass all around. We wanna play out the back. Strategy, passing, zigzag. They, Watford, are gonna press us. They're gonna run up. They're gonna try to get the ball from the defender. He's trying to play out the back. This defender, let's call him Wambasaka. He's not gonna know what to do. He's gonna send the ball back to De Gea. Who's not gonna know what to do with, kick the ball away. Watford have the ball. Eventually, rinse and repeat about 50 times. They're gonna score and we're gonna lose again. And it's gonna be fantastic. It's fine. I don't, I don't have emotions anymore. It's done. I'm, I have accepted it. It's done. 2-0 Watford. Wolves West Ham. Ah, oh, two of my favorite managers in the league right now. Bruno versus Moyes. It is at the Molyneux, which is the loudest stadium in the league. If West Ham win and Chelsea lose by 13 goals, <laughs> West Ham could go top of the table. They could. It could happen. It's not going to happen, though. <laughs> but West Ham could beat Wolves, but they could also lose to Wolves quite easily. So this is one of those, yeah, making some really grand statements. You know, yeah, they're going to need a lot of things. The way the game's going to go, though, West Ham is going to try to control possession. Wolves are going to try to fight against it. <sighs> they struggled against Palace. I'm going to stick with it. West Ham 2-0 Wolves. A lot of 2 nils this weekend. Norwich Southampton. Can Norwich win another game? It'll be exciting. Imagine. Imagine if Norwich actually pull off a great escape here. Could they do it? I mean, they're only five points out of safety. It's 100% within the realm of possibility that Norwich squeak, squeak out after that start that they had. It would be hilarious. I would love it, honestly. But Southampton and Hassan Hotel has been phenomenal all season, in my opinion. And I think long may it continue. I think Norwich will succumb to the Saints' pass. And I think the game is going to go 1-0 Southampton because that's all they can do. They can only score one goal. We'll save the Liverpool City game, uh, Arsenal game till last because more exciting that way. Man City Everton. I mean, there's no way, right? I'm City's had some pretty shaky results. Beating Manchester is not impressive for anybody because, you know, it's Manchester. Everybody beats Manchester. Old Trafford's... Psh, it's like a training ground at this point for everybody else. <sighs> I don't see a way where Benitez is going to beat Pep at the Etihad, honestly. I think um, it's going to be a pretty straightforward game for Pep. Um... They have won their last seven Premier League matches against Everton, scoring 21, conceding only five. I know it sounds like I just like provided some random insight out of nowhere. It's on Google. I'm not going to lie. I'm just reading it off. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I can't see anything else. You, City usually smash Everton. It's, it's always kind of been the case. 4-0 City, honestly. Leeds Spurs. Leeds against Spurs. Spurs against Leeds, technically. Hmm. I mean, Conte, second game, he hasn't had a lot of time to really work with his team, but he's gotten pretty much the setup down. For all the players who didn't go on international duty, he's been able to spend some time with them, which is good. You need that time as a new manager. <sighs> Leeds are going to most likely dominate possession. Conte doesn't want the ball. He's going to give it to them. He's going to try to hit them on the break. Is it going to work? Leeds have been disappointing, but slowly starting to build a little bit of momentum. Very little bits of momentum. Um, they don't have the most impressive track record in their last couple of games, but I mean... Neither do Spurs, really. 
Let's go for a 2-1 Spurs win, though. Why not? And then, the game we're all waiting for. Liverpool-Arsenal. It's going to end 5-4 to Liverpool. Just so you know. First of all, let's get out of that out of the way. Fuck Liverpool. Great game. Blockbuster. It's going to be interesting, honestly. This is... Uh, Arsenal's gone through a little bit of a patchy form at the beginning of the season. They didn't know what they were doing. Now all those injured players are back. They're getting some flow. They're playing well. Pretty good results over the last uh, couple of games. Arsenal actually have a better five-game record than Liverpool do. Um, they, uh, it, and it's honestly just a question of who can do it in this game. I mean, it's at Anfield. Betting against Liverpool is kind of dross at that point. You got to go. You got to go Liverpool. 2-0 Liverpool is the easy shout. Can Arsenal get a goal? Absolutely they can get a goal. Arsenal are playing really, really well right now. Emil Smith-Rowe. Yeah, I'm a fan. But they've only scored 13 goals all season. They don't really score a lot of goals. Not good. Not good at all. Yeah. 2 0 Liverpool. I'm feeling comfortable. It's a game to watch. Obviously, we will be back tomorrow with some. Shenanigans. Yeah, that was some shenanigans. The hiccup's not good. 11 minutes where that goes. Well, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will be back tomorrow. Shana Belly, Football Channel. Bye.